Hello everybody, my name is Full Salvo Reacts, and today we are reacting to episode 2 of Epic Red Erased. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be extremely enjoyable, because I know I enjoyed the last one. I just woke up, and I just got this set up, so yeah, took a shower and everything, so here we go, let's uh, do this. Oh, excuse me, Miss Torgard? Uh, sorry, but what did you mean when you said rob this museum? Aren't you security guards? Isn't that the opposite of your job? We're not security guards, little girl. That's just our cover. Oh, that explains why your tour was so bad. What? No. Oof. It's not that I'm bad at tours. There was just no reason to try. He was trying. See, I told you, the kids can tell the difference. I'd give them four stars. <gasps> four stars, Lady Mira! That's, <laughs> that's downright commendable! See what happens when you engage? You should be more engaging. We don't need to be engaging, Ingus. There's only three things we're going to do. Sneak into the museum, find the amulet, and take your epithet. <laughs> You've got a lot to do today. Feel proud and wipe your eyes because they stifle the honest state up till dawn. Let's see what you've been working on. It's go. Keep in mind the deadline is closing. Your byline, the headline, they're in the bin. Uncompleted, all deleted. What's going on? You'll have to crunch and work till dawn till you die. Cut out the corners, cross the teeth, and down the eye. Without the white, I'm Keep it in good taste, just so that no one will never know it's defaced. Epithet erased. <laughs> Episode 2 Bear Trap. Spike Crusher Dark Star. My boy. Oh. You're still conscious. Our dual tech is usually enough to take mooks like you down in one blow. Congrats, Indus. Take our intruders into the dinosaur exhibit and make sure they stay there. Ooh, the dinosaur exhibit is my favorite. That is the exhibit with dinosaurs in it. Right away, Lady Mera. I mean, who doesn't like dinosaurs? I mean. It's probably a debatable subject. Moving on. <laughs> Wait a moment. Lady Mira, if I am guarding them, who will protect you? <laughs> From these guys? Please. I wipe their entire squad out with a wave of my hand. They're kittens. How dare you? We are dangerous criminals. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the most dangerous thing you guys have done? Loiter outside the mini mall? Shoplift some bubble gum? Uh, loitering is a perfectly respectable crime that can be very dangerous. How? No, it can't. How? You <laughs> could do it in front of a truck. There. That should hold you. Enjoy your time in prison. I'm going to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> First mission in charge, and I end up captured on top of a pile of my own unconscious minions. This sucks. Hey, tall guy, you could have at least trapped us inside the dinosaur bones, like how I requested to be buried in my will. Yeah, no big deal, but I wrote my last will and testament because I live my life in constant danger. I wrote my last will and testament because life is fleeting, and you never know when you or a loved one will die. Well, that's depressing. Okay, moving on. Ugh, you're kind of a bummer. Anyone ever tell you that? Yeah. Oh. So tall. If my neck were that long, I could see Lady Mera from anywhere. We could never get lost. What false secrets do you know, Mr. Apatosaurus? Apatosaurus. <sighs> I wish I were a dinosaur. 
soon. Hey, kid, quick, let's get out of here. While that big guy's distracted by the majesty of dinosaurs. Huh? You heard that lady with the weird eyes? Once she finds that amulet thing, she's gonna steal your epithet. And maybe mine, too. We gotta get out of here. I guess so. What do you mean, you guess so? I don't know. Being a Monday wouldn't be so bad. I could still run the store. Lots of people don't have epithets, and they do okay. And it sounds like she really wants it, so... What do you mean, it sounds like she wants it? What's wrong with you? You can't just give up your cool powers. My powers aren't that cool, though. Uh, they managed to negate a swing from my soul slugger doom bat of maximum destruction. That's a pretty big deal. That's what you call that? That is what you call that piece of shit? That looks like a thing that a kindergartner duck crafted or whatever. That looks like something a kindergartner crafted so you can protect himself from the onslaught of zombies, of ghouls, or whatever. That does not know. <laughs> Get that out of here. Had I hit that lady at my full power, oh, I would have clobbered her. Maybe. I've got this feeling that she's actually really strong. Same with that guy over there. Their proficiency is really high. <laughs> well, yeah. Did it have to be to defeat all my minions? Um, I don't know. They were kind of bad. Hey! Don't you talk about my boys that way! They're trying their best! But you have a point. I don't know if I can beat that lady now that I'm boyless. Hey, I know! You can be my new boy! Huh? Congratulations, oh, little girl! girl You've officially been promoted to boy! Minion boy! Huh? But first, you need a- Yeah, this is all terrifying her. No, no doubt. A cool minion nickname! Quick, what's your name? I thought it was Minion Boy. No, your normal name! Ugh, gross. You sound like a sweater. I can't have a minion named Molly. Well, you had a minion named Ben, so I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> You're quiet and wear a bear hoodie. I know bears. Oh. I've got it. Your minion name shall be Bear Trap. Okay. Now, Bear Trap as minion. Actually, Bear Trap isn't that bad. I, I, it's not that bad of a name. Versus all the others like Flame Flamethrower, Car Crash, Spike, Dark Star. It's not that bad. It's better than Ben, that's for damn sure. It's your job to think of a way out of this and do all the work. As your manager, I will wait here and take credit for your success and berate you if needed. Oh, so it's like working in retail. Yeah, you got it! Yeah! I f hate working in retail for that reason alone. You don't get any credit. <laughs> okay, I think I have an idea. Hello, Mr. Barrier? <clears throat> oh, hostages! Are you enjoying your imprisonment? Can I get you anything? Some water? More barriers? Actually, I had a question. That woman is your boss, right? She is my master! Years ago, Lady Mera bested me in an honorable duel. Ever since, I have followed her teaching, so that I may become strong. How did she best you? She's short. Oh wait, never mind. I I can see many ways how I. It, it took me a minute. It took me a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> like her, she has taught me many important training exercises, such as training laundry and training doing her taxes. Oh, I do my family's taxes too. Yes. I have not yet mastered the taxes. <laughs> Me neither. I have so many return statements to file. <laughs> yeah, uh, grown-up words, am I right? <laughs> We're all... Return statements. <laughs> taxes are... Bleh! <laughs> all dudes here. In return for Lady Mera's teachings, I act as her most trusted bodyguard and right-hand man. Okay, so your job is to protect her, right? Yes. Well, Mr. Giovanni attacked her earlier. Yes. But I stopped her from taking any damage with my epithet. Yes. So I saved your master for you. That means you owe me a favor. That I mean, she's not wrong in that factor. Makes sense. 
I was thinking maybe you let us out of this prison? Hmm, I don't know. Lady Mera did give me explicit orders to do the exact opposite of that. I wouldn't want to upset her. Well, that's fair. Sorry to bother you. What? No! You almost had him! All right, listen. You want to protect that lady, right? More than anything! Well, you'd better go back there right now before the really dangerous thing gets her. <gasps> oh, no! What is this really dangerous thing? Uh, uh, quicksand? No! It's minions. Lots and lots of minions. He has way more minions than the ones you just saw. Yeah, I've got like ten. Hundred! Hundred! Nine hundred minions! Goodness, that is a large amount! I don't know if Lady Mira could handle that many minions on her own! You should go help her. After letting us out! After all, we just gave you that hot minion tip for free. So now you owe us two favors. Two favors? Two favors is worth more than one order. So you need to let us out. Yeah, that's the rules. Mm, I... I guess that makes sense. All right. He lowers the barrier a bit and lifts the two of them by their collars like baby kittens. There, you are free, and my debt is repaid. Stay here and don't cause any trouble. I'm coming, Lady Mera! I don't feel good about lying to him like that. <laughs> oh, silly bear trap. You don't need to feel bad about lying anymore. That's one of the perks of being a bad guy. Oh, okay. Can I borrow your cell phone? I want to order a pizza. Oh, yeah. Pizza sounds great. Thanks. Hi, police. Hello, this is police. What? No, stop that! We're not calling the police. I'm a criminal, and you're one of my minions. They'd arrest us on the spot. But I haven't done anything bad yet. <laughs> you just broke out of prison. <gasps> you're right. It's not a pri- Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm a monster. This mask has become my face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> swipe that amulet from right under their noses. If they want it, that means it's probably worth a lot of money. I bet stealing something like that would get me some kind of raise. Well, maybe even a promotion to the next bonsai rank. It's nice to have the option of upward mobility in your company. Yeah, those are words. <laughs> Come on, we need to establish a secret base. Once we have a base, we can come up with a plan. Once we have a plan, we can swoop in, rescue my boys, and grab that amulet. He touches his hand to the barrier and looks longingly at his pile of boys, Aww. like a maiden looking out to sea. Wait for me, my boys. I shall. Why don't we just take them with us? Heavy. You right. <laughs> but where seatbelt safety is important to love you and everyone in this movie very much. Aww. That's adorable. For an Italian, he's very... Yeah. He definitely acts like an Italian. Yeah, I said it. Epithet erase! We're back, Lady Mara. Can let it slide because I <laughs> kids, you know the saying, don't ever go full retard. It's <laughs> a fine example, don't go full retard. Owed them a favor, and it was the honorable thing to do. Oh, <laughs> okay, I get it. That little girl must have used her dumb epithet to make you enough to ignore my orders and let them go. Nope, I'm just like that. And this, if I wanted something big and brainless to help me move boxes, I would have hired a forklift. Don't be silly, Lady Mira. Forklifts have no honor. 
I don't care about honor, Indus. Honor my probably broken foot. Now we've got who knows how many thieves wandering around looking for the amulet. Ten hundred, I hear. We're not even sure if it's even in the collection yet. Not here either, huh? This is starting to feel like a waste of my time. Tell me about it. Wait, and who said that? I knew it! I knew he was gonna pop up again. <laughs> You must be one of the fabled ten hundred minions. Stand aside, Lady Mira. I'll handle him. Excuse me. Back, minion! In the name of my lady, you shall face my fist! Ha! Did... Did I get him? Nope. Thank God. I was about ten seconds away from strangling him. And who are you supposed to be? Another thief? I take it you're referring to those bonsai blasters I saw knocked out near the entrance. No, I have nothing to do with them. I'm simply an interested party. Uh-huh. And what exactly are you interested in, kid? The museum's been closed for hours. I'm not a kid! <clears throat> My name is Dr. Sylvester Ashland. I'm a psychologist investigating how epithets interact with a person's psyche. I heard your lackey talking about the amulet during your tour earlier, and I was hoping to get a look at it myself. Well, the exhibit's not open yet, so how about you go home and wait a few weeks like everyone else? Waiting behind red tape is for the general public. I figured there's no harm in getting an academic preview. That's what you're doing, after all, isn't it? <laughs> right. Uh, but as you can see, my assistant's abilities are a little lacking. <sighs> With all these bonsai blasters running around, I don't know if I'll be able to keep the amulet safe. Of course, if I had someone more competent willing to take care of them, I'd be happy to let you take a peek at the amulet once I found it. So, I apprehend these thieves, and you give me some time to examine the amulet. Yes, that's right. Oh. If this kid, this guy actually falls for this thing, this act. I'm scared of this play. But they're pretty strong. You might not be able to handle them, kid. I told you before. I'm not a kid. And trust me, if I'm the one dealing with those thieves, they'll be out cold before they have a chance to make the same mistake. Epithet <laughs> 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 erased. We're back. Thanks for waiting. Oh. All right, Fort Cool Guy complete. I feel like it's against the rules to take the bears out of their homes like that. Uh, this is their home now, and I told you you don't need to worry about rules anymore, Bear Trap. You're a bad guy now. Plus, these guys are like our guardians. They're part of the Bonsai Blasters too. Then they need uniforms. You are so right. Molly takes a small sewing kit out of her backpack and starts fashioning the grizzly. How did she, what? Okay, all right. I have, that brings up more questions. <laughs> she just pulls out a just, just pulls out a sewing kit. You might as well just bank a sewing machine too. You might as well just. All right, we're. Ah, uh, uh, all right, all right. What? 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 All right. <laughs> I'm not mad at the show. It's actually really entertaining. It's just there's questions in my mind. My mind gets very curious. Play. Bear a yellow bandana with the letters BV on it. Oh, you carry around a sewing kit too, huh? Yeah, my dad breaks a lot of stuff around the house, so it's good to have supplies on hand. Wait, you sew? No, I knit. So what? You want to fight about it? No, I just didn't take you for the crafting type. Of course. He takes out a pair of knitting needles. I wield both the powers of creation and destruction. He flips the needles back and forth between grandma mode and knife mode. 
like a ninja. Didn't your parents ever teach you? I mean, his guy's going for safety and he's playing with knit needles. Like a kid with scissors. There, there, there's hypocritical things going on here. <laughs> hey, Giovanni. Are you secretly nice? What? No! Absolutely not! Say that again and you're fired! Don't tell the others, okay? They oh. get it. Only oh. cool minions like you would understand. Giovanni throws together a black bandana with red accents for the polar bear. Oh. Nice. They're officially part of the team. And once you turn in your membership fee, you'll be an official bonsai blaster. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Membership fee? Look, 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 look. listen here, listen here, listen here. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to be a ball buster or anything, but uh, I'm kind of broke. <laughs> and I have a feeling she is too. I have a feeling she is too. Two membership fees. Yeah. Anyone can become a villain for the low, low. Forty nine ninety nine. What the? F <laughs> Whoa, twelve easy. P oh, hey, hey, uh, uh, no, 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 blaster card, please. <laughs> has this has never been on TV? <laughs> 60 day money back guarantee. We guarantee we'll keep it. <laughs> Four months, so you don't have to wash them. But, alright, alright. Um, huh. Alright, whatever. Full price of $49.99 a month. So, there's no skill requirement to enlist. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just thought that the. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> Dang, Molly's pulling out cards here. <laughs> like a pretty lovely member to be. I know, right? It's more than my entire allowance. But it's not so bad. If you get other people to join, you get a cut of their monthly fee. And if you recruit enough people, you actually make money. That sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah, of course it's a pyramid scheme. They're scamming you. That's how you know it's a legit bad guy group. How do you know what a pyramid scheme is anyways? Aren't you like five? I run a toy store, so I have to know about common business practices. You're five years old and you run a toy store? That sounds pretty rough. Yeah. I mean, I'm 12, but yeah. You, uh, you want to talk about it? Giovanni sits down in the fort and pats the spot on the bench next to him. Uh... Come on, bear trap. Sewing time is bonding time. That's why they call it close-knit. Um... Ah, that's true. Well, my family runs a toy store. My dad makes the toys. And my mom used to sell them. But after she died, dad and my sister kind of just ignored the situation. But we still needed to eat and no one was doing anything. So I guess I just kind of took over. I thought it'd just be for a little while. But it's been almost two years now, and things still aren't normal again. I still work at the store most nights because my dad and my sister are, um, busy. I'm supposed to be there now, actually. But all this happened. I hope they don't get mad at me again. You're kind of a pushover, aren't you, Bear Trap? <laughs> I'm sorry. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You're doing all this stuff for your dumb family, and you're okay with giving away your epithet because she might need it? What is that crap? Like, it's nice to be nice or whatever, but you can't just let people step on you. You're just as important as everyone else is, Bear Trap. Really? Yeah. You're my minion now. All my minions are important. I can't have people stepping all over my minions when I'm not around. You gotta learn to stand up for yourself. Got it? No! How's that? <laughs> nice try. I'm your boss, so you have to listen to me. Not bad, though. We'll work on it. I want all my minions to be the best they can be, so that when I finally become a supervillain, we'll be the strongest bad guys in the world! So, I guess that makes you the bonsai... Until this sleep night kid just had to interrupt everything, I... I was actually kind of... I was actually getting some feelings from that. That was 
that was, that was kind of touchy. I, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. That was kind of touchy. Blaster also, look at the bears. bears. Who the heck is that? That boy from earlier. You're trying to steal the Arsene amulet. Isn't that right? I don't go easy on criminals who get in the way of my research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? And what are you going to do about it? Think you can stop us, kid? I'm not a... <sighs> Why do I even bother? The boy raises his hand and a hush falls over the room. A golden dust hangs in the air and begins to fall like pollen. What's this? Snow? <laughs> Ew, why is it yellow? Wait. <laughs> That's Dude, how she be felt. Careful! That dust put you to sleep! Huh? I bumped into that boy earlier. Some of that dust rubbed off on me and I passed out. I thought I was just like weird dandruff or something, but I think he's actually inscribed. He must have some kind of sleep epithet. Ha! A trick like that won't work against my demon energy aura! Ah! Steam rises off of Giovanni's body as his soupy energy whirls around him and hits its boiling point. The updraft generates a whirlwind and blasts the dust away in a rush of heat. He dispelled it? I guess they're not just your average street punks waving their epithets around. <laughs> Listen up, Bear Trap. Now that we're a team, I can let you in on all of my secret techniques, including my special move. Thirteen is my lucky number, so every thirteen times I get a hit in, I unleash a super attack. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that super related or... What are you doing, no, dog? I'm just... What are you doing, dog? Come here. The audience wants to see you. Or at least I want you to see you. Come here. Relax, dog. This is my dog. Oh, give me a... This is Aggie. Say hello. Look at the camera. The camera's right there. I don't think he cares. Oh, it's a pop What a pop <laughs> You mess, dog. You mess. Okay, back to the video. It's awesome. <laughs> I've already got a hit saved up from attacking that lady before, so all I have to do is land 12 hits on him. If he can even survive that long. Counting sheep! He waves his hand and a herd of sheep stampede out of Whoa, what's wrong with my what's wrong with my bar? The ether was Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Back to full screen. There we go. The chorus of bad Oh my god! Is that all you got? This is a perfect opportunity to use my lava grenade! Dang it! There's too many of them! The bear trap! Attack! I, I don't have a weapon! Oh, my bad. Here, take my standard issue bonsai blaster pea shooter. He drops a gun in your hands. What? No, I don't want this! Come on, we can take him! Get ready, bear trap! Giovanni brandishes his soul crusher bat, which is a regular bat with a knife taped to it! Now we've already established that. Oh, this isn't so bad. Yeah, they just kind of bump into you. I have a friend who would love this, actually. It's so soft. Oh, you know, they're actually kind of cute. Ah! They nibble! They nibble hard! They're nibbling my suit! Ah, quit it! It took me hours to make his costume! Ah, come on! 13, 13, 13, 13! Ah, yeah! Oh, there's still like a hundred of them, though. I don't know if I can take them all out before they nibble us to death! I have an idea! It looks like he summoned these! Shabai. The sheep quiets down, closes its eyes, and grows smaller and smaller until it slowly fades away to nothing. Uh, what? Well, what did you just do? How do you do that? How do you turn them off? I dumbed it down to nothing. I can do that with summon stuff. My sister has a summoning epithet, and I have to unmake her stuff before it destroys all the other stuff. What? Can you do that to people? I... I don't know. 
do it. Bear trap. I haven't. Uh, I'm sleepy again. Hey. Huh? You should be more than groggy enough now. How about we see what you're most afraid of? Nightmare fuel. <gasps> what the heck? Pyrophobia, huh? That'll do. Just stay put until the police arrive. I'll keep that fire where it is, so long as you don't try anything funny. Pure bunny. Bear trap? All he clicks is the hem of Pure Bunny's cape. It hides against his leg. She's crying. Aww. Huh. I think I've had just about enough of you, guy. You made my minion cry. Nobody. Makes my minions cry except me. I've never done this while carrying another person before, but don't worry, Bear Trap. We still have two more minions left on our side. You can't seriously be planning to sprint through that fire. Not quite. The steam Giovanni built up around him bursts from his feet, and he rockets into the sky, landing on the two bonsai bears atop Fort Cool Guy. What the heck? Teleports behind you. Only halfway, but that's still pretty good. See, Bear Trap? We're safe now. Sergeant Bear and Corporal Other Bear are here to back us up. Thank you. Don't mention it. You're my minion now. We take care of each other. You might find that difficult in a couple of seconds. Nightmare fuel! Whoa, 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 whoa. Suddenly, the footing beneath Molly and Giovanni becomes unsteady. An earthquake? No! The bears beneath them spring to life! Sergeant Bear and Corporal Other Bear roar and begin to swing at their former comrades! You must have been the only thing I love and turned it against me! Sergeant Bear! Why? I should have been promoted to staff! <laughs> I mean, start talking! I love this shit! This is so cool! Sergeant Bear, ages ago! I can try suppressing them with Hushabai, but not for very long. They're much stronger than the sheep. So what do I do? Uh, uh, the sewing kit! Oh, yeah! Well, I can throw the knitting needles at his eyes. I was thinking more like hitting him with a ball of yarn. Right! He's wearing glasses. Much more traditional, just being the nerd. Giovanni scrounges around and pulls out a big red ball of yarn from his man purse. You seriously think you could beat me with a ball of yarn? Not on my own. But when I combine my strength with bear traps, anything is possible. Sorry about this bear trap. Standard minion procedure. It's fine. I'm used to being taken advantage of. Okay there. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my same look. All right, that just got depressing. Let's maybe raise our standards a little bit. There we go. I might not be the best super villain in the world just yet, but when it comes to baseball, I can't be beat. Yeah, yeah a homer today. <laughs> yeah, take that, you jerk. <laughs> Why is he still standing? That's it. No more Dr. Night Sky. You forced me to use my ultimate attack. Dream big! <laughs> is that it? Your ultimate attack is passing out? <laughs> I doubt it. What a dork. Let that be a lesson to you, Bear Trap. Never mess with Giovanni Potage. Because he is great. Uh, Giovanni? And please, please, call me boss. Boss! Yes, what is it, my faithful minion? I want to take a look. <laughs> Holy s***! <laughs> he got right, right in and ready to rumble. <laughs> Yeah, my thoughts exactly. My thoughts exactly.
Okay. That was good. That's actually pretty. This is pretty entertaining. All right. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Um, I will definitely be doing more of these. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you don't, um, be sure to leave a comment if you want more, and be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Hit all notifications. All right. I will. May see you in the next video. P -p 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 Peace.